Hello everyone, in this video we want to talk about the covariance and the correlation in the Excel. And we want to use the data analysis toolbox here. The data analysis toolbox is add-ins in the Excel that can be found in the file options. In the add-ins, you need to press on the go button and then checkbox this and then press OK button. Then you can see this toolbox in the data tab here. So the covariance and the correlation are the index in the statistics that can be show us how much our data are correlated together. So for example, we have some data variables like age, blood pressure, cholesterol, and the heart rate. And we have some samples from these variables. And we want to see how much each of these are related together. And so based on that, we can predict, for example, blood pressure based on the age or cholesterol based on the age or others. So these correlation and the covariance can give us the hint how much I can relate these two variables and can be one be predicted from another. So for doing so, I need to, for example, write a function in the Microsoft Excel. The covariance function can be found in the statistics and you can, for example, find the covariance here, covariance function, or you can use, for example, Pearson function that can calculate the correlation in the Excel. But we want to use a simple way. The simple way is in the data tab data analysis toolbox. By using this toolbox, I can simply choose, for example, covariance here and then define my data range. So I want to use all these range. I select the cell one by using control shift right button and then control shift down button here. I can select all my data. And as you can see, the first row in my data are labels. These are the variables name. So I, I have to tell the Excel that these uh, the first row is my labels and are not my data. So after I define my data range, I just need to say where I want to have my report. For example, this one give me a report in the new sheet by name COVID. I can write my sheet name. This one will give me the report in this sheet, but in the defined range, and this one will create the report in the new Excel file. So after press OK button, I can see new tab here, and is my report, and is the table. It actually is a matrix. In this matrix, I just have the lower string row data but the upper uh, triangle will be empty because these are our uh, semester trick and this data is exactly the same this one this one is exactly the this like this one so it's no need to have data here and the covariance of each variable with its own is its variance so you can see these data in the diameter of my matrix is the variances. So it means that I just calculate the variance for each of these columns and put it here in the diameter of my matrix. And the, and the other data are the covariance between the blood pressure, for example, and the age, the cholesterol and the age covariance is here. And what it means, what this number means, the bigger covariance show more relation between two variables. So for example, here I have the biggest covariance between other uh, variables. And it means that the heart rate and the cholesterol are have a real relation with together. So when the cholesterol go up, the heart rate will go up as well. And if the heart rate go up, the cholesterol will go up as well. And the negative values, the more negative you have, there is a more inverse relation between two variables. So for example, here the age and the heart rate have inverse relation. If age go up, the heart rate goes down. So this means these two variables 
have inverse relationship. And if the covariance be near to the value zero, it means that there is no relationship between those two variables. So what is the correlation? The correlation is same as the covariance. If you select the correlation here and then select the OK button, use uh, the range here. I just select the range with my mouse. And the first row is, is the labels in my data. And then, for example, let's say the name of the sheet is core. So here I have another matrix. In this matrix, as you can see, there is the one in the diameters. And it's because we divide the covariance values. Here is variance, actually. We divide the covariance values of two variables by each of each variable variance and rooted to two. So for example, here for calculating the correlation between the age and age, which is the same variables, it means that I just need to divide this variance by variance of age, multiply it by variance of age again, and then make a, a score root. So we have just one because it means that dividing variance to variance. But here I just divide the covariance, this value, by the variance of the age and the variance of the cholesterol. The multiplication of two variance should be in the square root. So here we calculate the correlation. And that's why you have number one in the diameter for each variable because the correlation between variables are just one. And if we have the co uh, correlation between two, uh, between two variables near to one, it means there is a huge relation between two variables. So here the health rate and the cholesterol is 20%, 26% actually, and it means there is a relation between these two. And if we have the negative values, it means there is an inverse relation. And if the value is near to the zero, because here we have the minus 0 0.09, and uh, it means there is no relationship between these two variables. So right now, between cholesterol and age, we can say there is no relationship. And we cannot predict cholesterol by using the age. But we can predict the cholesterol based on the heart rate or we can predict the blood pressure based on the age. So this is how we can use cor uh, correlation and covariance. We can see which variables are dependent together and use those dependent variables to predict another variable. Thanks for watching. Until next video, goodbye. In order to watch more training videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Diaco.td. And if you want to see our products, please visit our website, diaco.co.uk.